Hi everyone, welcome back to our tour of exhibits as part of our digital outreach series. So this is a tour of our temporary exhibit that's on display uh, just off the ballroom. It opened on February 1st and it's open until the end of April, although with the current um, coronavirus concerns we may extend the length of the exhibit just so that more folks can see it. Um, but it is entitled The African American Communities of Aiken County, colon, Sally and the Thompson family. So it explores the African American community just outside of Sally called Skillet. Uh, the people who lived there, their lives, what they experienced um, from slavery to freedmanship to sharecropping um, all the way until about the 1930s, 1940s. The exhibit was curated by guest curator Dr. Walter Curry, who is a member of the Thompson family and a local author. And um, let's talk a little bit more about the exhibit. So the skillet area is considered the area where Highway 394 and Highway 4 meet outside of Sally, um, but near Tabernacle Baptist Church. It was called the skillet um, because the woman who gave the land to the African American community in the late 1800s, um, her name was Della Kitchings, and um, she was known as the mistress of the skillet, but when she offered the 500 acres to the African American community, the, the condition was that the land had to be cleared and plowed and ready for crops within the year. And some of the African Americans in the community were skeptical of this deal and said that people who went for the deal, you know, they would get the land in the end, but they had to clear it and plow it and have it ready for farming within the year, that they would be so hungry at the end of that year that they would be licking a biscuit from a skillet, meaning they would have no money, it would be a bad deal uh, for them. But some African Americans took Miss Della up on her offer and moved into the skillet area and transformed the land into the African American community that it is today. The exhibit opens with the exploration of the Thompson family through um, an ancestor whose name was Phyllis Corley, and she was brought across um, as an enslaved person from Africa, and she was brought to the plantation of Joshua Cor Corley and Joshua Corley was in Barnwell District at the time. Again, there was no Aiken County until 1871, and so his land was part of um, the Barnwell District, even though today it resides in Aiken County. And Phyllis was one of his enslaved persons, and she is the ancestor of the Thompson family that exists today in the Skillet community. One of the children of Phyllis Corley was Lavinia Tho uh, Corley Thompson, and Lavinia Thompson was given as an enslaved woman to uh, Joshua Corley's daughter, who married Samuel G. Webb. And when Samuel G. Webb went to, fought in the, went to fight in the Civil War on the Confederate side, he took Lavinia with him, and she became the camp cook. So here we have an exhibit on the items that a person um, would have taken into the war with them to cook on an open hearth for the soldiers. And all of these items are on loan to us from the Museum and Library of Confederate History. After the Civil War, Confederate veterans were allowed to apply for pensions. And Lavinia Corley Thompson, having served in the Confederacy, as an enslaved cook for her owner, Samuel G. Webb, she applied for a Confederate pension in 1923 and was awarded the pension. And her descendant, Walter Curry, who wrote this exhibit, who curated this exhibit, he actually went to the State House and in 2017, Lavinia Corley Thompson was recognized as an African-American female Confederate veteran um, by the uh, governor of South Carolina. Oh, uh, sorry, y'all, I said Governor of South Carolina when I meant the Senate. <laughs> this is a Senate resolution from the state of South Carolina in recognition of Lavinia Corley Thompson. We continue to follow the Thompson family as they become freed people 
after the Civil War, and we have a great photograph of Millish Thompson and his family as freedmen. The exhibit also explores the um, founding of the Smyrna Baptist Church, which is a big component of the Skillet community, a place of celebration and baptism. Then the exhibit goes into the founding of Aiken County in 1871, the lives of the Thompson family as they go into the period of reconstruction after the Civil War. Here's a great painting by a member of the family, of one of the members of the family. This is a painting of Joshua Corley, who is a freedman and a sharecropper. And the painting uh, was done by one of the family members, Miss Crawford. And then the exhibit comes to a conclusion in the era of the tenant farmer. So we have objects related to tenant farming for cotton, including cotton bowls, cotton bales, cotton scales. And then we finish up with Joshua Corley and his wife, Queen. So we hope that you've enjoyed this virtual tour of an exhibit curated by Dr. Walter Curry. about the town of Sally, its African-American community just outside of that called Skillet, the lives of Phyllis Corley, Lavinia Thompson, Corley Thompson, Joshua Corley, and the many other people connected to the Thompson family who were born and raised in the town of Skillet.